Back here on Last Call, Nathaniel, the Bears travel to New England to face the pa Patriots tonight. Catch that game at 8.15 on ESPN. Who do you like in this game tonight? I think it's pretty obvious the Patriots are going to be the favorite, right? So it's 8.5 is the spread here. The Patriots at home against a pretty putrid offense here in the Bears and just a team that's really struggled a lot. The Patriots have looked great, though, the last couple weeks. So I think they're going to be the run runway favorites. I think they're going to win the game by more than eight points, too. I'm probably taking the Patriots spread for sure. Uh, but Mac Jones' list is questionable. It could be Bailey Zappi, uh, which means more work for Ramondre Stevenson. I think it's definitely going to be Zappi, and I think that the Patriots are going to have a decision moving forward. Do you want to continue with Mac Jones coming off an injury, or let Bailey Zappi continue to shred up some teams? Because he has looked good, the unsung hero here, third-string quarterback coming into the year, and he's been a great player for this team. I think he's going to come in and light up this Bears. Hmm. Wasn't there a third-string quarterback a few years back in uh, New right. England that happened to do the same thing that Zappi is doing? Is this the second coming of football Jesus, Tom Brady? Well, let's take it easy on that, all right? Of course, Bill Bell, check the common denominator there. He's looking to move into second all-time playoff and regular season and coaching wins, right? So he's only about... I think it was about 20 wins behind Don Shula for first place. But he's going to move past George Hallis. George freaking Hallis, he's going to move past playing the Bears. This would be huge if they can get that win. And you know Belichick cares about that type of history stuff. Oh, yeah, he does. And you know they've seen scheme for it all week. He knows what Justin Fields is going to do in this game. He knows what all the, all the receiving core in Chicago is going to do in this game. And he's studied it constantly. So I'm taking the Pats, like you said. Yeah, I think with that idea in mind that he's going to pass the former Bears legend playing the Bears for second all-time in coaching wins, it's too storybook for it not to happen. They're going to win and probably going to win by more than eight points. I'd say I wouldn't be surprised if the score was somewhere around 25 to 10. Yeah. I'm, I'm staying away from the over-under on that one because I agree. You, know, you, you just never know with the Bears. They could put up three points. They could put up 30 points. Who knows? Staying away from that. Prop pick of the day, though. Ramondre Stevenson over 63 and a half rushing yards. Get absolutely. That. Absolutely, man. I Minus 110's the odds. You've got Damian Harris, who is not playing. He's a bit of an injury here. He looked good last week. Ramondre Stevenson did. I think he can come in and definitely go well past that 63 and a half number. You want to get fun and then do a little parlay? I'm going Pat's money line. I'm going David Montgomery anytime touchdown. I'm going Ramondre Stevenson anytime touchdown. Plus 933 odds, that means 10 to win 93. Well, that's all the time we have today. Thank you for joining us on Last Call. Jake Kiefer alongside Nathaniel Finch.